don't know what's going to happen with DeAndre Ayton this offseason, you guys. And I don't know what's going to happen with these OG and Anobi rumors. But I will tell you this, you guys. Mikael Bridges helped confirm on Twitter that Kevin Durant is coming to the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys. So there are rumors flying around that OG Ananobi from the Toronto Raptors might be wanting out and how the Phoenix Suns are involved in this. So with that being said, you guys, make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. And let's talk about it. All righty, guys. So all this started because Jake Fisher from Bleacher Report in his latest NBA offseason intel and rumors, he talked about how OG Ananobi might want out of Toronto. And he said, and I quote, word has circulated among rival front offices that Ananobi grew dissatisfied at times with his role in Toronto. Now, you guys, in the article, Jake Fisher did not mention anything about, you know, DeAndre Ayton being targeted by Toronto, but I think it was Dave King from Bright Side of the Sun. He did reach out to Jake Fisher, and Jake Fisher did confirm that DeAndre Ayton has been targeted by the Toronto Raptors later on in a tweet. And if you guys don't know who OG Ananobi is, OG Ananobi averaged 17 points per game last season, shot 44% from the field, 36% from three. He averages about 5.5 rebounds per game, 2.6 assists, 1.5 steals. Now, he only did play in 48 games last season, but he's got good size. He's got strength. He plays great defense. He's got a lot of upside. He's only 24 years old. Now, obviously, everything going on with DeAndre Ayton has a lot to revolve around, you know, the max extension and contracts and numbers and everything. He averages about $18 million Per year, he has three years left on this current deal. You guys, I'm sure that OG Ananobi is a fantastic player to have, and I know that he is a solid defender, and it really would be awesome to have Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, OG Ananobi, Jay Crowder as, you know, switchable defenders. All that crazy defense on the court at the same time would be absolutely awesome. You could rotate those guys in and out, and it would just be solid defense most of the time, especially with small ball lineups. But you guys, I really don't know how this trade would look, especially for both sides. I mean, there's a lot to this trade, you guys. Let's be real. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of contracts and salaries that go along with this trade, and I really don't know if the Toronto Raptors would just trade OG Ananobi in a sign-in trade with DeAndre Ayton. And you guys, it is being reported that there needs to be a third team involved. So I just really don't know if OG Ananobi is enough for DeAndre Ayton. And then vice versa. Like, I don't know if they would just want DeAndre Ayton back. I'm not really too sure about all this. So again, you guys, as I just asked you, does this trade make sense for the Suns and the Raptors? How would this three-team trade work? Is OG Ananobi enough for DeAndre Ayton? And who else would you want on the Toronto Raptors? As always, guys, please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. I'll leave all my links and sources in the description. And you guys, I highly encourage you guys to check out my last video because Jake Fisher from Bleach Report actually answered a couple of my questions, one of them being about DeAndre Ayton. Here's a quick clip of that video. I, I'm honestly working under the assumption that DeAndre Ayton will not be with Phoenix next year. Um, you know, there's someone I just talked to yesterday, though, an assistant general manager of an Eastern Conference team who pushed back on that pretty strongly. Um, so, I mean, the door is definitely open now, I think, for him to leave, which is pretty, uh, which is, you know, pretty stark of a, of a turnaround from where things were in last year's finals, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe, and now enjoy some bloopers, because <laughs> there, there's a lot of bloopers in this video. <laughs> Hail Bridges, OG, my phone just went off. <laughs> There's going to be so many bloopers to this video, I can just already tell. But I will tell you this, you guys, is that Mikhail Bridges helped confirm that Kevin Durant is coming to the Phoenix Suns. I can't even. <laughs> That's so stupid. These OG and a new, no, no, a no beat. <laughs> All this started because Jake Flish, Jake Flisher, Jake Fisher, Jake Fisher. I just finished drinking my energy drink and the sugar is just like, woo! <laughs> and the sugar is just like, woo, 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 woo!